<laughs> Sorry, had to do it. I saw that in theaters, by the way. Yes. Yoshi games have had a decent enough pedigree of quality, save Yoshi's story on N64. That piece of shit. Most recently, I really liked Woolly World. You know, all these all these remasters, all these DXs, but Yoshi gets a new game? That's, that's weird. Where's my Donkey Kong and Toad Treasure Tracker sequels, bitches? But okay, Yoshi, we'll do a new one of this. And I like Woolly World, that was really good. So what do we got? Yoshi's Crafted World. Kinda again. I say I say that because haven't haven't we done this a lot? You know, not just with Yoshi and, and this franchise, but like Kirby and a lot of Mario and Nintendo. I, I like what you're doing. I like I like that you're going for like a stylized, you know, thing. But honestly, how stylized and unique is it? Like the tenth time you fucking do it. I don't know. This whole arts and crafts thing has been done so many times by you guys in particular that it's really feeling not as unique anymore. I mean, it's nice, it's pretty, it's very good, talent went into this, but like, I don't know, maybe go back to the Mushroom Kingdom aesthetic because that would almost seem unique at this point. Because it's been arts and crafts for a while now. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. And like this time in particular, the kind of cutesy aesthetic has been pushed to like, you know, level 11. And keep in mind, I love Animal Crossing. Love Animal Crossing. Okay, that's not even a game to me. It's a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's how much I love Animal Crossing. And I don't think that's overly cutesy. I think it's just right. But like 30 seconds into the first level here, I kind of wanted to throw up. <laughs> it just... It's, it's like the previous Yoshi game was targeting maybe entry level ages 6 to 10. And this time they were like, no, 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 no. That's too old. We're targeting 3 to 4 year olds. Because that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> and when you get started, change gameplay to type B because some idiot said it's a type A. Seriously, how does Nintendo fuck up jump? This time there's hearts to collect, but no more stars. Because there's no more baby fucking Mario. Whiny bitch. He must be playing Sekiro. You know, regardless of the ultra kitty aesthetic, it, it does look pretty. It's Unreal Engine 4, which looks real pretty. Especially at a lock 60 frames per second, because it seems Nintendo's just about the only one outside of ID these days that actually gives a shit about 60 on consoles, but eh, whatever. Although Unreal Engine 60 on a Switch does mean that you're going to take a hard hit to resolution. This kind of variable resolution makes me a little more than suspicious that Nintendo is now starting to target the upcoming Switch Plus or whatever they call it. Because when that happens, you'll probably be playing this at a full 1080p as opposed to this resolution, which is, I don't know, half that. But whatever, looks pretty. Looks good, even blown up on a big TV. Something I said in my Game of the Year wrap-up like a million years ago about Mario Galaxy 2. Were I one of those companies that gave out sub-awards, like, say, Best FPS, Best Puzzle Game, Best Racing, etc., I'd have to invent a new award just to give it to Galaxy 2. And that's Best Level Design. And that's something that Yoshi's Crafted World would get. An award for Best Level Design. This game has as many ideas as it has levels. I mean, every time you step into not just a new world, but new level, it's like a, a whole new game. Sometimes, half the time, most of the time. This is that kind of Nintendo creativity, that shit that everyone else wishes they had. You know, the people that work for Nintendo, they have that kind of, that little inner Miyamoto that's just constantly trying new shit. You know, they can't go a level without trying something totally new. And then just when you've mastered that, they're like, all right, screw that, let's try something else now. If you have 10 more levels, you'll have 10 more ideas. And that makes it really uh, hard to show you footage because I don't want to spoil shit. One criticism, if it is a criticism that I got to say, is I think the costumes are kind of dumb. They just are, they're dumb. Um, I like the skins from Woolly World more. Aside from the fact that it had wider reaching amiibo support, is that having skins as your different outfits meant you could see Yoshi. Because you know, it's his fucking game. This isn't Master Chief. And these, you know, costumes, you don't have to wear them, but you're incentivized to wear them because it really matters if you take hits or not, because, you know, 100%. So you kind of want to, you're made to want to. And that means, you know, most of the time, half the time at least, I can't really see Yoshi. I see this big bulky tank fucking thing. I'd rather see Yoshi. I like the skins more, but whatever. Honestly, a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that. Maybe most people will. So, you know, I don't know. What do I know? Like most modern Nintendo side-scrollers, it's easy to play hard to master. You'll probably get to the end no matter how good you are, but getting everything is as hard as tumorous balls. Which is how most Yoshi games are made, and how they should be. That's how the original was. Getting 100% was hard in that. With those fucker monkeys. 
Speaking of difficulty, when you start up, you will see an option for Mellow Mode. Yeah, this is what they do in all the Nintendo Happy Kid games. They make a can't lose mode, which I know, I know, it's a kid's game, so meow. But at the same time, what you teach kids really matters. And this is something that's really worried me, especially in the last like 10 years, that Nintendo's really liked giving kids no challenge. Cause like levels aren't that hard, at least to get to the end. And what I worry is when you raise a whole generation of people that think playing and getting a participation trophy is just as good as winning, then they don't learn failure. And you know, learning failure is really fucking important in life and in video games. You know, I was four years old when I was tasked with beating this motherfucker, you know, and this motherfucker, these motherfuckers, okay? I learned failure hard and fast, and it helped. It helped me to do shit that was really fucking hard. A good finished product went through 10 versions, went through 10 edits, went through 10 whatevers. And when you raise a generation of people that can't handle failure, then they do shit like whine about Sekiro, <laughs> you know? But again, I'm not saying there shouldn't be a mellow mode because Nintendo knows what they're doing better than fucking I do. I'm not saying they shouldn't do it. They know what they're doing. I worry about people not learning failure. But, uh, yeah. And uh, if it wasn't explicit enough, at this point, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It was fun. Yay, Yoshi. Yoshi. <laughs> Shirley Temple of War, cause she might be a little too adorable. Hello, I'm still in chatter. But talent is talent. This is Awesome.